Hey everybody, how's it going? Matt here from TechSmart today with an end-all be-all drop test video on the three largest smartphones in the market. That's right, you guessed it, we have the brand newly released HTC One M8, also newly released the Samsung Galaxy S5, as well as released a couple months ago back in the fall, the iPhone 5S. What we're going to be doing is putting each of these phones up to the test with a various couple different drop heights, see how they fare, and then find out which one has the best build quality for today. If you guys are interested in winning an HTC One M8 or a Samsung Galaxy S5, simply leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about the video, what your thoughts are, anything along those lines, as well as give a thumbs up to this video and you'll be automatically entered. More details can be found on the Twitter page. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to dropping. First up is the HTC One from Pocket Height. We're going to go through all three phones and we'll go in the order of HTC, the Samsung, and then the iPhone. So here we go. HTC One from Pocket Height in three, two, one. Next up is the Samsung Galaxy S4 from Pocket Height in three, two, one. Now finally we have the iPhone from Pocket Height in 3, 2, 1. Much like we're used to seeing in many of the drop videos from the past, the phones are still all basically okay after the first Pocket Height drop. The M8 and the S5 did take a little bit of a beating on their chrome edges or the aluminum edge on the M8, but other than that there really has not been much else damage to these phones after the short Pocket Height drop. Next up we have the drop from head height. This is approximately six feet and simulating if the phone were to slip out of your hands while you're making a phone call. First up is the HTC One M8. Dropping in three, two, one. Now for the Samsung Galaxy S5 head height in three, two, one. Finally, the iPhone 5S from head height in 3, 2, 1. Okay, that was pretty cool. Let's slow it down one more time. So unfortunately, if you weren't already able to tell, the iPhone has kind of met its end. Now this is a little bit surprising considering we've seen the iPhone stand up to some pretty tough drops in the past, but as the slow motion showed, it landed completely face down and that's almost always a recipe for a cracked screen. So that means unfortunately the iPhone 5S is knocked out of this drop test as of right now. As you can still see, the S5 and HTC One M8 are still standing strong with flawless screens, so let's go ahead and drop them some more. Now with the HTC One M8 and the S5 still in fairly good condition, we're going to go ahead and do an above the head height drop and see if they can still withstand that drop. Now again, these drops are random because it's almost impossible to control exactly how the phone hits the ground, but I will be starting each drop with the screen facing down. No guarantees that it will hit the ground with the screen face down, but we will start each one from now on out with the screen facing down. So here we go with the M8 screen facing down above the head in three, two, one. Now we're doing the Samsung Galaxy S5 above the head, screen starting, facing down in three, two, one. So as the slow motion showed, the S5 II has landed completely face down and cracked the screen. Now I was still able to get the phone to power back on when replacing the battery as you can see here and it did make a noise but the actual digitizer itself was completely shot. In order for this phone to be usable you'd have to get the screen and digitizer replaced however everything else on the inside still seems to be okay including the camera on the back. When we take a look at the HTC One we still see that it is almost perfect and if you also did notice it landed completely face down much like the S5 but did survive is still usable, doesn't have a cracked screen and everything seems to be working alright. 
All right, so up until this point, the only phone that has survived everything we've thrown at it is the HTC One M8. Now, this doesn't surprise me as they've really focused in on the build quality this year, being almost completely aluminum with a fairly strong front glass coating. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and do a 10 foot plus drop here, holding the phone about here, just give or take 10 feet. I'm going to drop it face down and try to make it land on the screen and attempt to crack it and simulate the worst possible disaster. So here we go with the HTC One M8, 10 feet, face down, dropping the phone in three, two, one. And there we go. We were able to crack the HTC One M8 finally. However, you have to take this with a grain of salt as it stood up to all the other drops which the 5S and S5 could not withstand. Including a drop where it was held from above my head which is over 6 feet and landed 100% face down, it came out of that almost unscathed. So it wasn't too surprising to see when dropped from over 10 feet landing face down, this did actually crack the phone. So then how do all these devices stack up to one another when it comes to build quality? That's an easy one. I'm definitely going to have to call the M8 the winner here. Even though in these shots it looks like it got the worst beating, remember it also took the highest and most amount of drops. That leads me to give the HTC One M8 the merit of being able to be used without a case and can still withstand just about any everyday drop, even when landing face down on the screen. In the past, I would have had to say that Apple, with its current day iPhones, takes the award for best build quality. However, this year with the introduction of the HTC One M8, HTC takes that award now. One small side note though is that I would not completely kick the Samsung Galaxy S5 out of this running. If you go ahead and check out the other video on our channel that I just did between the S4 and the S5, you can see the S5 can actually take a fairly large beating, including getting run over by a car and still live. Regardless though of what this one random drop test shows, there's no doubt in my mind that all three of these phones still have a fairly substantial build quality from what they were two or three years ago. When it comes to smartphones in the future, there are two inevitable things. They will get stronger, and they will get faster. And that's exactly the case here we have when Samsung, HEC, and Apple all duke it out for who has the best built smartphone. And that only means one thing for us, stronger smartphones in the hands of the consumers. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment down below and a thumbs up to be entered in the giveaway, and I'll see you in the next one.